In this screencast, I will discuss using the Ping Robinson spreadsheet for calculating thermodynamic properties and also use of solver. I'll explain the different regions on the spreadsheet. I'll change the fluid to ethane and use the specified reference state that you see here. And then I'll do some matching to match certain values of the properties. Before I look at the sheet, I want to discuss the reference state section in the textbook. All the properties will be calculated relative to a reference state. A reference state involves a certain temperature and pressure, and also we need to specify the state of aggregation. For the purposes of fluids, we will either specify an ideal gas, a real gas, or a liquid. We will set entropy to zero in the reference state, and one of either internal energy or enthalpy. The process used in the spreadsheet for calculating properties is, de is described in figure 8.4. If I'm using a real fluid reference state, I will have a departure at both the reference state and the state of interest. And if I'm using an ideal gas reference state, I will start the calculations from this point and use just one departure. You may wish to review the figure. All right. Well, let's look at the spreadsheet. Here I've got uh, propane as the compound, and I've got the heat capacity values. If I scroll over, I can see um, some enthalpies differences, and these are the ideal gas changes relative to the reference state for the properties. If you need an ideal gas calculator, this is a convenient way to do this. Uh, then I have the current state and the rows you've seen before, but now I've added uh, columns for the thermodynamic properties. And over further to the right, I have the departures at the given state on this sheet. If I look at the ref state tab, I can specify a reference state temperature, and here I want to use 298.15 and I'll keep the pressure 0.1 megapascal. Uh, this is where I specify whether I want U or H to be zero. And here I specify if I want a, an ideal gas or real fluid reference state. Then I need to specify the root in the reference state. And these uh, numbers here indicate the rows. And I want to choose the row with, of course, calculable numbers. And if I have multiple roots, in this case, I want to choose the most stable root. And so, in this case, I would pick row identifier 1. Now, I've changed the fluid on the props page to ethane. I've entered the critical properties and the heat capacity constants by pasting the values. I want to use a temperature of 350 Kelvin and 0.5 megapascal. You can see that there is one real root under these conditions, but you can see that the enthalpies and so forth are not being calculated because there's a problem with the reference state. I'll let you read that red note on your own. If I go to the ref state page, I can see that for ethane, uh, row identifier number one isn't a uh, stable con calculation at this state. And in this case, I want to choose row number three. And when I go back, I've got values. You can see the enthalpy is 2736, and the entropy is minus 4.716. We'll use those values later in this video. I'm going to change the pressure to 0.1. And because we have a non-ideal fluid, the enthalpy changes. Well, let me find the temperature at which the enthalpy has the original value of 2736. So I pull down solver. And I'm going to adjust H to a value of 2736 by changing TK. I want to always make sure that's the temperature indeed that I want. And solve. Always check to make sure it worked. And indeed, the temperature is 346.9. Now let me look for the place where the enthalpy is 3500. 
and everything stays the same uh, except for the value I'm looking for. It converged, indeed, at 360 degrees Kelvin. For the first two calculations, the values I was looking for were close to the values that I started from with the solver tool. Now I want to try to find an entropy where the entropy value is minus 4.7. And you can see I'm starting with an entropy value of 10. I want to do some trial and error. I'm going to pause this in order to do the trial and error and show you when I'm ready to use solver again. All right, look at where I'm going to start from. I did some initial trial and error myself manually in order to come up with a value of minus 4. And look, the root that I'm looking at now is in the 3 root region. And if I would have started trying to converge from the 1 root region, I wouldn't have been able to find an answer. But now I can start the solver tool. You always want to find out the region to work from before you start to use solver. And I'm looking for a value of minus 4.7165. And I'm going to change the temperature. And make sure it converged. Now, in the three root region, before I accept the answer, I also want to make sure that the entropy value I found is the most stable root. In this case, it is. And there's my answer.